Hello, welcome to this video tutorial. My name's Andy, I'm from a company called Tap Happy. I decided to put this video online because I was getting stressed out with trying to remove backgrounds from images that are quite complicated, such as trees. As you can see, that there are a lot of branches um, within this and twigs within here. And I wanted to keep this detailed, but actually remove the background. Now this tree, in fact, will be placed in a game that we are developing. The game is called Snap the Difference. Um, here's our Facebook page for this. It's um, a new photo sharing picture game that will be launched on the Apple App Store soon. Um, so please like our page if you'd like to know more about this app. But um, yeah, this tree has actually got to go into this game, but we need just the tree, nothing else in there. And the video was inspired for by a number of videos on YouTube that describe how to remove complicated backgrounds. Um, but I come up with my own method that incorporates various parts of this. Um, I'm my Photoshop skills aren't brilliant, um, but um, I hope this video helps other people because I was certainly getting stressed out with it. So as you see, I took this picture. Um, we start with the background layer. I always duplicate the layer. Right click click duplicate layer OK um, duplicate once again so you've got three copies <clears throat> now at this stage you can turn off the other layers so you've just got the top layer showing here what we need to do is make this tree as dark as possible and make the surrounding sky as light as possible to create a contrast between the two. There are other ways of doing this but I found this way the easiest so you click the top layer make sure it's visible click image adjustments exposure okay now I find the best one here to play with is the offset uh, and as you can see make sure you've got preview ticked so you can see it I find by making this dark as you can see the, uh, the the tree almost becomes black, which is good, which is what we want. Now, if you zoom in, you can see that a lot of the detail is picked up here as well. Now, this is okay. Um, about here, we'll do for this image. All become clear when we make a selection in a second. Um, you can also play around with the uh, the gamma correction. Now, the idea is to create the tree as black as possible and the sky as white as possible. You don't want to go to the extremes because you start to lose the detail around the tips here. So somewhere around there should do for this one. And we click OK. As you can see, it's still not perfect. You can still see some blue and some white and some gray in the clouds. That's not a problem. Um, once again, image, adjustments, brightness and contrast. Now we can play around with the brightness here now and we can up the brightness quite a bit. As you can see it almost becomes white now, the, the background. Uh, you can adjust the contrast as well, so bring that up. Now you can see it almost becomes a black and white image. Now what we need to do is take your quick selection tool or the magic wand tool um, if I show you, if you put the tolerance to zero here at the top, we click an area, it will only just pick this area, okay? We're still on the top layer, it will only pick that area. If we deselect that. For this picture, let's try a tolerance of, say, 20. And that, sorry, tolerance of 20. Hit enter. You can see now it picks up a lot of the surrounding area. And now if we zoom in, the lines here it doesn't pick up everything in between okay so not to worry there's a quick way around that for this actual picture I found that the tolerance of 30 worked well so hit 30 click the outside and it picks out everything here now this is where the nice bit comes in select similar okay now this will pick up all of the detail in between if you zoom right in, you'll be able to see that it's picked up all of the detail in between these branches. Now, by us making it black and white, this is how it almost recognises that um, by by adjusting them 
the brightness and the contrast and the exposure on there. You, there's a real contrast between the two and that's how it can select it all. Okay, so you're still on your top layer, you've clicked it. Now we can hide that layer. You can see it picks up all of the selection. Click the second layer and make this visible. Now you can just hit your delete button and this removes everything from the outside here. Okay, if we deselect, you'll see that it's completely removed the background. And if we can zoom in, I'm not too sure if you'll be able to see that, but it still keeps the twigs there. Um, you can discard the top layer now, you don't need that anymore. So you can click on that and delete it. Um, I haven't shown how to cut around the trunk of this. That's quite easy if you just use your pen tool uh, and trace around it and make the selection and cut away the outside. A good way to quickly check to see how much detail was picked up was create a layer between the background and the one that you've just cut away and fill the entire area with a contrast color. Uh, in this case I'm just going to fill the whole area with a bright pink okay and if we turn the top layer on now you'll be able to see that it is, has actually picked out all of the detail in between the branches where you've got the brown okay I hope this helps you out guys it certainly is a quick and easy way that's worked for me please leave any comments that you might have below I'll do my best to answer them but if you could also please like our Facebook page it's snap the difference uh, as I said this image of the tree will be going in to the game and if you'd like to stay up to date with it that would be brilliant thank you very much bye